Hi, Mike Kennedy, and we're going to look at the Seek app. The Seek app is a plant identification app. It's got some warnings here. Always be aware of your surroundings. Don't eat anything you find in the wild. Don't trust bait pass and respect other living things by not harassing or touching them. Some may sting, bite, or make you itch. That's pretty good advice, uh, especially when you're beginning out looking at things in, the, in nature. So we're going to run the SEEK program through uh, its paces. First it's loaded up and you can see in the upper left hand corner it knows I'm in Gorham. I turned on the location, which is going to help it identify things based on my location. And you can see it's got some typical species I may find in there. So uh, uh, you can take a picture in this case that I'm going to go to the photos and I'm going to pick out a photo. Uh, whoops, it crashed. Let's try again. Nope, here we go. We're using this uh, record screen record program and I'm uh, having a little problem with it so we're gonna try again okay bup, 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 bup. the little light is flashing so it appears to be working okay let's go back into the app and see if we can't get where we want to be we're gonna touch that seek leaf you can see in the bottom middle there we're going to try again. Okay, so we're going to look through some of my photos here that I have. All kinds of crazy photos of things, but uh, let's try putting in something here. We're going to put in some partridge berries. And now we're going to let it do its things. And believe it or not, it correctly identifies them as partridge berries. So let's try another one. Let's get uh, this trillium. Let's take a look at this. Three prominent leaves, and it, it recognized that it was a trillium. So uh, let's try another one. Here we have next, we're looking, going to look at. Uh, some crab apples, okay? It thinks it's a member of the rose family, so get that one completely wrong. But, you know, rose hips, crab apples, I suppose a computer could think they look similar. Let's go down a little further. Uh, let's do this mullen plant. I'm going to crop out some of the other uh, plants in this picture. So it will know that it's kind of looking at one thing. And yep, it got it. It knows it's mullen. And that's pretty good based on just the leaves, no flower and everything. That was a pretty good job. And uh, let's go down. And here's a honey mushroom. Let's see what it can do for that. It guessed it, honey mushroom. Uh, let's take another uh, very prominent uh fungus. And this is turkey tail. Let's see if it can identify turkey tail. It's thinking about it. It's going out the programs on the internet, figuring out, and it came out right. Turkey tail. Very good. Now we're going to pick a, a mushroom that's a very, it's very graphic the way it looks. So um, this is reishi or hemlock varnish. Very easy to identify mushroom, at least for a person. But it, it knows it's a, a shelf mushroom growing on a tree, but it really can't identify it. Uh, now I'm going to get in closer so that we cut out some of these other things and give it one more try. No, nope, still can't tell it. So you can see there's some limitations to what it can do, but I think this software, if you have the data connection or you're using it going from photos, can uh, recognize. Here we've got chicken of the woods mushroom, a highly sought after find. And let's see, oh, it got it right again. So that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Uh, so uh, 
it's nice that it does as well as this. Oh, here I am. I'm going to put myself in and see if I can figure out what I am. My goodness, it doesn't know what I am at all. Try some adjustments. Okay, here I'm going to adjust on a crop so that it's just a, uh, basically a face and see if it can identify me. Am I a toadstool or a plant? Ah, I'm a human being. Very good. So uh, you can see that having a non-cluttered background is going to help in the aids of identification of things. And uh, uh, like I say, it's got to be a preliminary ID that you've got to go somewhere else for because it does make, you know, it does make mistakes. Here are some false lily of the valley. And uh, I'm going to give it a chance to identify that. And it thinks about it a while, and it comes up wrong. It's thinking it, maybe it's false Solomon seal. It sees that green and the white flowers, but the white flowers aren't even in the right uh, position to make it that plant. I'm going to try to go in closer so it has uh, less to deal with. But that cluster is still too much for it to deal with, for it to identify. So, uh, now, hopefully you have field guides with you or you have, you already know some reliable internet sites. So you can check any of these suggested IDs with some good reference material. Here's some wood, so wood sorrel. I'm going to try that and see if it can figure that one out. Well, it says it can't, so let's, let's go in a little closer so that there's uh, less of things and it can see the leaves better. Oh, it's a kind of wood sorrel. Very good. So it did identify that one all right. So I think I can see where this app could be good uh, for beginners to use, but definitely you've got to have the field guides of the other material to compare uh, these computer guesses with because uh, uh, it isn't, as you've seen with some of the things that I put in, uh, some things it can't identify at all, some things I, it identifies wrong. And uh, we can give it a try. Oh, here I was going to try to do a picture of my dog, but uh, even though I have a thumbnail of it, it's actually not on my computer, it's on the cloud, so it's, I'm not going to even give it, get of it give it a chance with that cloudy, foggy, out-of-focus picture. So it is going to depend to a great deal on what the quality of photos are that you uh, feed into it. Uh, they got to be clear, got to be sharp, right color, and to be as free as it can be from uh, a distracting elements so it knows kind of the prominent feature it's looking at. Black-eyed Susan, there we go. Very good job. The end.